All right, guys, welcome to this new video. Today, we talk about how to travel cheap. Before traveling, I didn't really know all these things that were possible. I was reading a lot of books and everything to get this information. What I'm gonna teach you is something I experienced for a year in 15 different countries. So are you ready to know how to do it? Let's go! So, in order to travel cheap, there's three main things you need to consider. How to move, how to eat and where to sleep. So there are different ways you can move while traveling. And the first one is hitchhiking. I made another video about hitchhiking if you want to know a little bit more about it. The other way you can move is by taking the bus. The bus is pretty good if you want to do a long distance without spending a lot of money. You can also make friends on the way or use Facebook groups to make friends and share the cost of the ride. This is something I've done a few times, especially when I was in Australia. When in Australia, you know, there's a lot of long distances and we were used to um, share the cost like this. The other way, I haven't done this, but I met so many people while traveling, which is by bicycle. Bicycle is really fun because you can stop pretty much wherever, wherever you want and you can also stay in nature and beautiful places. You can you, you have this freedom. The only thing is you have the material stuff to sometimes you have to fix some stuff on the bicycle but it's a good way to travel really really cheap. Another way you can travel as well a slow way to travel by walking. I know it sounds extreme but if you consider to travel for a long time and you really like to, to travel slowly you can consider this way which is really cheap it costs nothing it's free. Now we're gonna move to the second category which is eat. So well, when you travel, you can eat, you know, you can buy your stuff in a grocery store and then make something like some sandwiches or some cold meals. A good thing when you, when you travel for a long time is to cook your own meals. You can do that when you are hosted and anytime you have a kitchen somewhere, just cook something and then, and then cook a little bit more and put it in a plastic box that you can have it for the next day. Another thing you can also do is go to some fast food restaurants outside. It's pretty cheap and you can be full. And obviously, you know that you're not gonna go to some fancy restaurants if you want to travel cheap. In some countries, you can really go to restaurants and it's super, super cheap. I think about Eastern Asia, like Thailand and these kind of countries. I haven't been there personally. I've met so many people that have been there and told me that it's even cheaper to go to a restaurant than to cook your own meal. So this is something you can consider if you go to these kind of countries as well. And the last thing is, where do I sleep? Well, a cheap way to sleep is to go to a hostel. Many travelers do that. If you want to meet more locals, more local people, you can also use the something that I really recommend you to do is to use couch surfing. What is couch surfing? This is an app, you have two positions. You can be hosted or you can host someone. And usually these people are very open-minded and really, really open to help you as much as they can. They're lovely people. Um, I've done that so many times and every time there was always amazing meetings and you can also wait other um, travelers at the same time so you can make friends and, and, and this is cool. This is free but the only thing is that you know you need to be cool with your host because he's hosting you for free you know so kind of help him to, to, to do some service, ask him if he needs anything, you know wash the dishes this kind of stuff you know basic stuff common sense. A thing you can also do is to build relationships, to make friends on the way. This is important because sometimes, you know, when you are traveling, you can meet, meet some very nice people and they're, they really want to help you, even, even if you don't ask. But just sometimes you can ask, it's totally fine. If you find, it, if you find that this is, this is okay, you can really do it. So if you meet someone nice, you can ask them kindly, can I sleep in your house tonight? Is it possible? I've done that a few times, it worked. Another thing you can do, and especially if you travel for very, very low budget, is to do door to door. I know it's scary, but it's really possible. I've done it a couple of times. It needs, you know, it needs confidence and it needs to really go for it. But you knock to the door and you introduce yourself, you say, you know, you explain your story very quick. And then if they think you are nice, sounds safe for them, they're gonna host you. You know, it's possible. Or they're gonna do anything to help you to figure out something for you to sleep somewhere. Obviously, you don't expect to have a four-star hotel. You know, you don't expect to have that much comfort. It's just you need somewhere to sleep cheap 
this is a possibility, door to door. All right, the last thing I want to talk about, about where to sleep and something you can consider, especially if you want to have a break during your travel, you can consider if you want to stay in a long time and you don't want to depend on anyone, you can consider booking a one month Airbnb. Why one month? Because it's cheaper. Sometimes if you book two weeks of Airbnb, it can cost let's say 300 euros but if you book for one month it costs you 350 euros you know it's like better book for the month you know it's like way better well obviously i say 300 euros but sometimes it's cheaper like everywhere is is different anywhere it's different everywhere so this is something you can think about where to move what to eat and where to sleep think about these three things and then you're ready to go well i know we are still during COVID and, and but just still some people are traveling that way even, even right now, today. So if some people can do it, why not you? Well, I think that's it for today. I hope this helped you to give you some ideas and to inspire you. If you like the video, you can put a like and comment right below. I also recommend you to subscribe, then you can see my other videos. Once again, thank you for watching and see you soon.